Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining us today. Well, I want to take a few minutes today and do a quick video, and this is a follow-up video. Um, Some time back, I did a review on this pistol here, Sig Sauer P938. I was really excited about this pistol when I ordered it and when I got it. And when I got to the range, I just had all kinds of problems. So between trips going back forth to Sig Sauer for repair, the question is, did we ever get a resolution on this pistol? Because, as I said before, it's the coolest gun that I won't carry. Has anything changed? We're going to talk about that and more in just a minute. All right, once again, welcome back. If you've been with us before, we appreciate you joining us again today. If it's your first time with us, welcome aboard. So, once again, the backstory on this. I bought this gun, was pretty excited about it. And, um, you know, I really liked the size. It just had everything. I love the grips. I love the sights. And um, I like the idea of, uh, of the way this gun is made. And um, I was pretty excited about it. I get to the range, and I had all kinds of issues with feeding. And the gun would malfunction. It would malfunction over and over and over again. And as cool as I thought this gun was I just couldn't trust it so the first time I sent it to SIG they sent it back to me and they said there's nothing wrong with it okay so we go back to the range and the gun still won't fire um, it won't feed correctly um, it's just over and over again now I went so far as to purchase um, additional magazines as you can see here we are clear and safe all that kind of good stuff just wanted to reiterate that for you real quick but i purchased you know extra magazines thinking well maybe you know there's just something wrong with this one because apparently sig couldn't duplicate the problem so i didn't accept that answer and i sent it back to sig a second time and then when they sent it back to me there was a letter that came back with it that said adjustments were made adjustments past quality control i don't know what that means but the gun still didn't work so frustrated i spoke with um some of my fellow um gun enthusiasts and um, of course i went to my friends over at don's uh, you know don's is a big supporter of the channel and they've got a lot of knowledgeable people there and i was talking to one particular individual and they made a suggestion um based on what i had in my inventory to try and it was actually remarkable what the resolution ended up being now as crazy as this sounds, I basically took the SIG magazines and threw them away. And Kimber has got magazines that are remarkably similar to the SIG magazines um, in many ways. You can look and see that the design is shockingly similar on these. And so what I did is on the advice it said well if you've got the right Kimber magazines uh, micro nines uh, even the Evo things like that these particular magazines they said would probably work you know it's up to you to try that but um, they are the same size so I tried a magazine from uh, from both my I got a couple of micro nines I tried some of those and I tried from the Evo and of course they did fit and here's the really interesting thing there were no malfunctions with the gun using the Kimber magazines. Now, the other bonus here is that it's so strange because it's almost like the magazine was designed to work that way. It's not a perfect fit, obviously. But if you have the magazine from the Micro 9 or the Evo in the gun, well, you've also done something else that fixed another little problem with the gun. And that is you got a little bit more to hang on to. So it was very interesting once I stuck one of these Kimber mags in here, um, the gun's been completely reliable. I took this gun back to the range uh, because I didn't really believe this was going to work anyway. And I shot 100 rounds through this pistol just as fast as I could get the, the, the magazines in and back out again. And I didn't have a single failure. And this is with um, range ammo and with hollow points. So there must be something with the magazine and um, I'm going to be doing a little bit more 
follow-up work and see what's going on with these mags. There's no obvious problems. I even had some people look these magazines over and they couldn't see any obvious problems. But for whatever reason, the Kimber magazines worked just fine. And of course, there are other aftermarket magazine options to fit this gun. But I thought it was interesting and I wanted to share with everybody that that's what ended up being the resolution on this. And um, I have some flush magazines of this type as well. But I thought it was so interesting that not only did it function correctly, but it also gave you a little bit more uh, grip to make this a little bit more comfortable in your hand being a small gun. So anyway, like I say, didn't want to take a whole lot of time today, but uh, I've been promising a follow-up on this problem. And um, for now, that's going to be the resolution. So anyway, if you have had this same problem with your um, P938 and you can't figure out what's going on, um, if you have access to some Kimber magazines or some of the aftermarket magazines, you might want to give it a try because it may not be the gun after all. It may just be the magazines. So there's that. All right. Thanks so much for joining us today. Um, we'll be back soon with another video for you. So as always, until then, uh, be careful and have a nice day. Thanks a lot.